and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at the feed, the bees add-on. Um, now this was, I believe this was created by the Feed the Beast guys. And if you don't know about Feed the Beast, it is an old mod pack from way back in the day. I don't know if they made like Feed the Beast 2 or anything, but back in the day there was this uh, mod pack for on Java Edition. This was before, like, probably even before Pocket Edition even released, probably. Um, don't quote me on that, but it was like way back in the day, like back with like the Yogg's cast of like Shin, Duncan, Lewis, Simon, and I think it was, I don't think it was the Jeff Factory, I think it was the one after that with like uh, Moon Quest and stuff like that. Wait, no, it wasn't that one. It, no, it was the one with Duncan's, uh, I think it was, anyway. Uh, basically, uh, it was a, it was a B, yeah, now, okay. Uh, basically, it was a mod, Mod pack, which is basically a bunch of add-ons uh, put together, and that uh, they could download. And yeah, uh, it was really cool, really popular back in the day. And I think they've also made uh, other add-on, at least one more add-on for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Uh, what's this? Bee crate break open for bees. So this, uh, from what I saw on the marketplace, this seems like a big add-on so ooh. Right, become a beekeeper this book is your one stop guide to becoming a beekeeping pro we'll cover everything you need to know about your new buzzing buddies uh, from the exciting world of catching them to uh, the secrets of successful breeding You'll even learn how to process the amazing resources your bees produce. Uh, catching the bees in a is a piece of cake. All you need is an empty jar, which is a five glass in a U shape, and you get three of them. Oh, a little bit. Yep, yep. There we go. See you. One, two, three, four, five. Right click here. Three empty bee jars. So let's uh, test this out on these bees. So I place it down, break it. Oh! It's not what? It's not what? Run floating. It's not three. They're not three bees. They're already captured bees. There was a bee down in my basement, somewhere around here. He's gone and disappeared. I guess I'll just summon the bee. Some bee. You right click and put them in the jar. Right, so let's go take a look at these bees. So we've got gravel bee, water bee, cherry bee, dirt, and a dirt bee. Catching bees and jars. I got your um... hello. I'm a nab your bees. Thank you. So you sell a beehive for an emerald, 10 dandelions for 3 emeralds. That makes sense because you can use them to make more bees. 2 emeralds for honeycomb, 2 emeralds for lava, for a lava bucket for some reason. Why do you have a lava bucket here? What are you doing to those bees and with that lava bucket? And you can get like a warped nylon bee, red mushroom bee, brown stained glass bee in a yeah, barrel bee and emerald bee. From him. So if I just like give at PM because uh, I'm not gonna walk all the way back. So let's give one of each of these bees. Here we go. Thank you, sir. Uh, so yeah, got your empty jar ready. Perfect. Now we'll just walk up to any bee and the. Uh, 
Uh, interact with a jar in your hand. One, two, as it should be three. Simply place the jar on the ground. Uh, remember though, this will use up your jar, so choose wisely when to release your bee. Breeding bees. Here's uh, what you need uh, to get started with breeding bees. Two tasty treats. Grab any uh, two flowers to keep your bees happy. Compatible bees. Find two bees that uh, can uh, be called uh, bee partners. They don't need uh, to be the same type, but they have to be compatible. Breeding bees. Ready to create uh, some buzzing new bees? Here's how. 1. Choose two compatible bees. They don't have to be the same type, they just need to be com compatible. Give each bee a flower if they if they're meant to be a heart, so we'll float above them. If the hearts disappear, a brand new baby bee will appear. Congratulations! Remember, not all bee couples are a match. Keep trying different combinations until you find that there's some love birds, or should that should we say love bees or love bugs? Actually, they're amphipods, not bugs. Pretty sure. Anyway, feeling uh, lots lost with uh, bee breeds, so don't worry, we've got your back. Check out our Beepedia guide. Uh, it's uh, your one stop shop for finding out uh, which bees are BFFs. Beast friends, get it? It's uh, packed with all uh, the info you need to become a bee breeding champion. Champion, so. Give that pea honey yeah, It's all one word, honeycomb So you get a honeycomb And you get a book There we go There's one, two, three And a bit of leather, where's the leather? There it is Boom. And we can make the a book, then the Bpedia. So choose from the following options to explore B category categories or view a uh, comprehensive list. Full list access an extensive list of uh, B species. Categories browse bees based on specific categories. So got search. Oh, so we can, so let's do dirt, dirt bee, dirt, dirt bee. So B name, dirt bee, parents N A. So that's non applicable. So I guess you just find dirt bees naturally. Where to find? Oh yeah, where to find these bees thrive in the plains, meadow, forest, and flower forest biome, but uh, can also be be uh, crafted or traded. With the wandering beekeeper. Wait, crafted. Oh yeah, so you can craft the water bee, a sand bee, a dirt bee, a lava bee. Ah, that's why you can craft lava bees. That's why he has lava buckets. And gravel bee. Uh so if I so I have uh the I have dirt be already and well I have gravel water and dirt uh well, yes yeah, so I have gravel warped and dirt water and dirt so you could do a sand and lava so give at p lava Ava uh, book it four and four books of sand. There we go. And that's a lava bee and what? sand. Oh, it's eight sand. One, two, three, four. There you go, sand bee. What about glass? I bet it's like you have to breed uh, 
uh, lava and uh, sand B. Yeah, sand B, lava B. I was right! Uh, can only be bred or traded with the wandering trader. Nice. So, um, we can do the full list. So we got Acacia, Amethyst, Asian Debris, Bamboo, Barrel. Okay, wow, this is so many bees. So many bees! Wow, that, that's a lot of bees! Probably not going to show off each and every one because there's not really a need to. Still, that's a lot of bees. Then we have B categories. We've got nature, construction, and items. So we've got barrel, bookshelf, chairs, glass, you go here. Wow. Construction, so you can just look at. Yeah, concrete, stain, concrete. So got all the different concrete powders. Concrete bees, you got the different stain, that. you got the different glass bees, you got the different wool bees, and you got other block bleed, block bees, you got brick, never brick, red, the never brick, and terracotta. And you have nature, which is like basic bees, which is clay, yeah, blah, blah, blah. How do you get clay? I bet it's like dirt and water, mud and dripstone. Oh, of course, mud and dripstone, and again, um, mud will be dirt and water. Yeah, dirt and water, and how do you get dripstone? Huh. Dripstone. Water and cobblestone B. Nice. Anyway, so that's your compressive B book. Uh, gathering and harvesting. Uh, this uh, section is all about uh, collecting the amazing resources your bees produce. During the day, your bees will buzz around the uh, smelling out uh, flowers, but wait, they, these aren't your average pollinators. Special resource uh, bees uh, gather resources instead of uh, pollen. You'll uh, see them uh, growing uh, cool stuff right on their block, right on their backs. Collecting these resources is simple, just brush your resource bees with your hand. This will make them drop special honeycomb unique to each type of bee. Some bees like our water and lava friends are a bit more particular. You won't be able to brush them, instead you'll need to uh, need a handy bucket to collect the resources they drop. Uh, and there's an apiarist table, which is a... Um, a bee ha house or whatever and a plank now that you've uh, got your hands on some honeycomb it's time to refine okay so let's let's get to it uh, let's uh, let me just give at the bee beehive 64 And it's night time, so they won't pollinate at night. Let me sleep. There we go. I'll just give at P on flower sixty four. So we're going to go, oh, new bee, skelly bee, neat, guess they spawn at night time. So let's just put down some flowers. All the more flowers and stuff that I need. Let me just put down some of these. And then we can release the bees. B, 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 
That was a normal BA just for these. Oh well. And it's gonna get a few more of these down. Yes, I guess I didn't have enough, but yeah, they're uh, pollinating the flowers. And when they're done, they'll go back to their beehives, I guess. The other houses. I don't know how you tell if they're ready to be harvested, but anyway, basically, um, they said to harvest them, you need, uh, god damn it. You need a uh, brush or a bucket if it's a liquid. So can I get through? There we go. So a brush is a stick, a feather and a copper ingot if I remember correctly. This should be feathers there. And a copper ingot. And you get a bush. So let's see. Alright, yeah, so you can see this one's got lava on its butt, so I can right click to get lava. And it plays a milking sound, that's funny. So are you gonna grow stuff on your butt? So I can, oh! Emerald has some stuff on its butt. And it dropped six emerald honeycomb. Thank you very much. Oh! And sand got some five sand. Got some dirt. So this is a good way of balancing it, making it so you have to ma manually harvest the uh, resources. Um, you know, it's also reminds me of, like the ore beetles and the uh, golden cow, uh, the golden pet saddle. Also, I could have sworn I had more bees. Did some of the bees de? Don't tell me the bees can despawn. Oh, you got some stuff on you. Oh, wait, there it is. Oh, he just dropped an entire barrel. Okay. You might want to get these guys confined because they appear to say are just flying away. So, yeah, probably best at better. Oh, yeah. Well, I think he's got some bone blocks inside of him. So, let's see if he can... Yeah, no. Oh, was I mistaken? Did I not see bone blocks? Yeah, there are bone blocks inside of you, so does that not mean you're ready? Okay. You... So you probably want to make a B room for these guys. Anyway, so we got some honeycomb. Let's uh, move on to the next part. So I need a plank. Give P O A K. Planks. Make the APS table. So what is what does the APS table do? Here's where the Apius table comes in. This nifty crafting station lets you con uh, combine honeycomb in a 2x2 two two pattern to create all sorts of stuff. Want some amethyst shards? Just combine amethyst honeycomb. And that's not all. Every uh, time you refine materials out to the apiary uh, table, you'll also get some handy beeswax as a bonus. Beeswax, what a uh, bee line to success. Uh, so beeswax, beeswax is a fantastic way to keep your blocks and the designs are looking good, spiffy and the new, giving them a good wax and the watch them clean 
Beeswax can also be used to craft beeswax blocks, so these are perfect for adding some decor flavor flair to your bills. Just he just a heads up, they might you to be a little slippery underfoot. So, oh, it does it. Are they actually slippery? Let's take a look at these. So, two by two of sand will give you two sand block and two sand blocks and the. the Two beeswax, two by two of dirt will give you two dirt and the two beeswax. Two by two of emeralds will give you two emeralds and two beeswax. And I don't have any others, so guessing the beeswax. Oh no, the block of beeswax is only a two by two, so you can make the beeswax block. Oh. Oh, I need to take this off so I can. I think it's a little bit slippery. Hold on, let me go into game mode one. And I'm going to just make a bit of a line of these. Oh no, you're not they're not slippery. Don't know why you said they were then. Odd. Don't know if they can make blocks of free. I don't see why they wouldn't be able to make the free blocks. Kill anti type equals zombie. Game is zero. Right. Uh, B storage. Uh, if I would go, thank you. Uh, sure, using jars for temporary uh, B storage is a quick solution, but for a longer term beekeeping in your world, there are better methods. Uh, beehives. Uh, these are great for great homes for your bees, similar to vanilla bees, so they uh, can freely uh, gather resources and thrive with uh, in these hives. Bee nest. Unlike vanilla bees, your new bees can't use bee nests. These are uh, reserved for vanilla bees. Remember, the new bees don't produce honey in hives. Ah, so you have to work. Uh, so, yeah. Bee boxes are new. It's what's new. So, bee boxes are your uh, automated beekeeping solution. Any uh, planks can be used to craft these bee boxes. So, uh, give. Happy bitch ranks nine and it's two honeycomb so honeycomb six. Wait, I don't, don't I have a bunch of honeycomb on me? Nope. And cobblestone six. Uh, and I also don't have a crafting table. That would help. Crafting table, bam. And B boxes. Let's keep these all. Oh, I forgot they'd attack me. Nice. I do much prefer. They do look nicer than uh, the regular beehives. It would be nice if they had a little hole in the front of them, so uh, you, you know, I thought to be a bit more realistic that way they go like in and out. But still, I do like it. It's also nice that you can make a bunch of different variations of them. 
Uh, bee boxes are a game changer for any beekeeper. Here's what uh, sets them apart. Storage and automation. Like a bee hives and nest, bee boxes hold up to three bees. But unlike their vanilla counterparts, they have a built-in storage like a chest. The best part, bee boxes automatically harvest resources. Oh, so it can be automated. With these are more expensive uh, beehives. So let me just get the mode one. So it's three bees per beehive. So bee. So yeah, look, you just tons of bees. There's even a bee oh, I'm, That might be a different add on. Anyway, uh, let's just get. Um, oh, die, um. Die, um. Diamond bees. One, two, three. And. Asian debris, one, two, dead B, Asian dead B, ah, no, dead B, I can't really make that problem work. And, I oh, don't know, uh, red stu, oh, red, there we go, redstone bees. One, two, three. Yeah, they are, they they fly away. It would be nice if they like claimed a beehive and then just stuck around the beehive instead of flying away. Um, because they have all just flown away. So yeah, if you're playing with this add-on, I would highly recommend building a like bee hole or cave or whatever. Just to keep the bees contained. But yeah, you get the idea. They go into here and then if they have stuff to harvest, it'll just automatically go in there. So yeah, definitely worth making these. And they're not too expensive. So there's like the beehives, there's just like some honeycombs I made and the beehive, so yeah. And the bee, regular beehive isn't super expensive. I think it's just 20 cam. Yeah, just three honeycomb and six planks. So it's not super expensive. But I would definitely recommend just like starting off with normal bees before and getting the honeycomb from them before going on to uh, these bees. But yeah, it is a cool add-on. Is there anything else? Uh, storing bees, you'll need to be able to catch bees with jars before you place them in the box. The top of the bee box displays the specific types of bees inside. Oh yeah, the bee box. Box. Oh yeah, no, that is speed box. Oh, let me give that key diamond underscore B three. Ah, yeah, so you right click on it with the Ah, I see. You Right click on the beehive with the bee. Show, and the bottom shows how many there are in there. And set zero. So they should come out. Uh, let's do, try redstone. Ancient, uh, ancient. Asian debris. One, two, three. Red stone. Three. 
They don't appear to be coming out though. Oh, they're, they're not even like coming out anymore. They're just producing in there. Oh, uh, that kind of makes it a bit more boring. I, I do like it if they like would come out when they're in there during the daytime and then at nighttime they'd go back in. Just like normal bees, but yeah. Yes, it's fine. Yeah, that's how you automatically get them. What's make this? I assume it'd be a lot of work to get diamonds. Uh, diamond bees. Let's see how much we. What do you need to get diamond bees? So, uh, di um, diamond bee. So you need iron bee and prismarine bee to get pris prismarine bee. You need cyan concrete bee and stone bee. Yeah, so there's a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to go through it all, but yeah, as you can see there, it's just like a bunch of stuff. You have to read bees upon bees upon bees. This would be cool if they like, could, if they're gonna, also if they could they extend it to like add other add-ons ores as well, so you could have like uh, more the more ores and tools add-on bees as well. That'd be cool. Yeah, this is a cool add-on. Let's see what else has this got for me. Crafting bees, so you can craft some bees. Cooking bees. There are also bees that can be placed in a uh, furnace to create new bees, so you can. Put any log bees to make coal bees, sand bees to make glass bees, red sand to make mag magma. That doesn't make much sense. Never act to make never break clay a bee to make terracotta bee. That's how you craft a book. That's a full list. Big flowers. Oh, unleash your inner botanist with this with the ability to cultivate giant flowers. These colossal love blooms aren't just for show, they're the key to unlocking exclusive stem logs and petal blocks. You need flower fertilizer, which is uh, two moss and two bone meal. Well, how would we go to you as flower fertilizer, of course? Think flower fertilizer, super bone meal. So, give at P flower fertilizer 64. So let's right click this with it. Oh. Do I need to break these two? Yeah, there we go. It'll make that sound if it can't do it because there's something blocking it. Oh, that's cool. So let me just do game mood one. My inventory is a bit of a mess. So, uh, let's test out some of these flowers. Some flower. Uh, hold on, if I go here. Yeah, there's a whole flower section. Boom, boom, boom. Right, let's get a bunch of these and see what I can do with them. Got the tulips. Got the oxide daisy. Done the cornflower. Get the other valley. Got sunflower. Get lilac. Get the rose bush, get the peony, pitcher plant, pink dandelion, pink petals. I don't think it'll work on the pink petals, but might as well. Test out, no reason not to. Would be cool though if it did. So this is the poppy, but it's I have a text. If I can make the looks like rose, yep, big pop, uh, yeah, big poppy. Oh, ah, 
Okay, with the the sunflower is cool, but I think you need to be doing it on the bottom block of these two tall flowers. Because then you just have it floating. Let's try it with the peony. No. Does not work with peony. Does it work with the rose bush? New. No. Does it work with the picture plant? Nope. Does it work with the wither rose? I hope it does. So it would be cool. Ow, ow. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that, eh, it's basically a black uh, black poppy, basically. Which is what it looks like in the game, so that's fair. Oh, torch is in the way. Yeah, so they're just like big versions of the plant. Does torch flower work? Nope. Does dandelion work? No, huh. I thought dandelion would work, it's like one of the basic ones. That doesn't work, there's a missing ball. Uh, does this work? Uh, yep, yeah, there we go. Uh, does the tulips work? Yeah, oh. Tulip, that's the red one. Orange one. Pink one. And the white one. And then you have the orchids. Oh, uh, why well, doesn't like the torch? I like the orchid. Uh, this one, I forgot its name. Azalea? These are those. What about lilac? Does it work with lilac? Nope. And oxide daisy. There we go. Yeah. Oh, voice effect. A little bit of voice effect, but yeah. Cool, this is cool, and obviously you can like use these as like building blocks and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and if you do like building like that big flowers, these are, these are pretty good blocks for that. Much better than I just like concrete and stuff. So yeah, I and mean, this is pretty cool in my opinion. I did definitely like that. Uh, yeah, you like that. You grow the flowers. Growing bigger flowers. New armor to complete your beekeeping ensemble. We've added a three new armors to to the collection. We have the bee armor, hive armor, beekeeper armor. The bee armor, so it's the uh, leather, yeah, yellow and brown dye, and the bee, or the hair, and then the rest is like leather and yellow and brown dye. This armor offers a bit more protection than leather, with the added buzz of looking like everyone's favorite bee. So if I just go to game mode one, and I'll show off the armor. Bee armor. I'm a bee. Yeah, like I said, it just gives slightly better armor than ever. Next up is the hive armor, which is wood and a beehive. Evil 2. Uh, boasting a sturdy defense that to suppresses to the likes of, surpasses the likes of iron. This armor features a rustic honey infused design. Uh, uh, uh. 
Yes, that. Oh. You look like a beehive. It's better than iron, which is pretty, pretty good. I mean, you do need at least two iron ingots to go because you need honeycomb, which requires shears. Oh, there we go. I just shift. Uh, wool and string to make uh, the uh, beekeeper armor. This uh, innovative lightweight armor offers the same protection as leather while uh, calming nearby bees. Oh, so bees won't attack you in uh, beekeeper armor. That's cool. Let's show that off. He... Oh, the wandering beekeeper. That's what he's called. That's a bit obvious. Yeah. Uh, then you have some decorative blocks and you've got credits and that's the add-on this is really cool and I, re I really like it I do, I really do the bees look cool uh, and then there's just like a whole there's basically like a whole like um, basically like a bit like a crafting line of just like Getting like different bees, breeding them together, and it is a lot of fun. Uh, oh, one thing I want to check before I go: if I get an M, if I get an empty jar, B jar, can I? Shift right click. Yeah, you can shift right click to remove bees from these. Oh, and they go into the beehive. I lost the diamond bee doing that. Don't know how that happened. Yeah, it's a really cool add-on. I do really like it. It's quite useful, and yeah. So I hope you guys... Uh, I definitely think it's worth it. So I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys uh, in the next video. And bye-bye. Uh,